um, 13 wins for you? What does that mean? Uh, I mean, it, it's nice, but, um, you know, I, I'm more thinking about how the season kind of finished for me. Um, I wasn't really sad. And I've, obviously, I'm not sad for how I finished the season. Uh, 13 wins is always nice, nice. but, um, say, wins and losses are kind of, they kind of don't really tell the whole the whole story. Um, you know, really tonight, you know, the guy who picks the best and didn't get the win tonight. And, uh, you know, just got to give this this win the credit to the, the hitters came back and then really capitalized that inning and put me in position to get the win. Were you satisfied the way you pitched tonight because of the way you started and the way you finished? Um, I'm not satisfied the way I pitched. I'm satisfied with the way, you know, I at least kind of buckled down and bared down and was able to battle through, uh, you know, a pretty tough night. Um, you said me and Tully just really buckled down and, and uh, just somehow got it done tonight. Terry said it should mean something to you to go through a whole season and not miss a start, <clears throat> even if you didn't finish the strongest, just to get through the season and do what you did. It definitely does. Um, you know, I, said, I think I said earlier on the air that a big goal of mine is to make every start. Every five days, take the ball, even when you don't feel good. You know, take the ball and, and, and try to do the best you can for the team. Uh, I think that's a big a big part of it, just just being able to pitch a full season. Um, like I said, obviously things didn't end the way I wanted to, but, but you know, I'll work on that in this offseason. What about what about it didn't you like? What about the end did you not like? It's just, I mean, it was just not consistent. Uh, uh, the pitches, you know, you look at video from early on in the year and then things just didn't look the same. Uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was fatigue or, or what, but uh, you know, just, it was just kind of was like a different person almost. I felt like, you know, after the second half of the year, so... You know, like I said, just something, something to work on and stuff. Is, what are things? Movements? Or? Yeah, um, you know, when I look at old video, you know, the sinker sinking lower, not really flat, and the change ups definitely, you know, dropping instead of you know, everything was just flat for the last, last half of the year. Um, yeah, the movement definitely is just, it was different. Does, it, does that come from maybe not finishing your pitches? Or, or, yeah. <clears throat> you know, I mean, <clears throat> if I could put a finger on it, maybe I could have changed it. But, uh, so, right, right at this point, I don't really know what exactly it was. But, uh, you know, so I'll, I'll do a lot of study on the sausage and then hopefully get it fixed. You didn't think it was anything fatigue related to long season or anything? Um, no, I, I don't want to say that really yeah. because, I mean, I've pitched almost 200 years last year, so if, if that's what it is, then I, I gotta get better in the gym or something, but, uh, um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired, I'm, I left it all out there tonight, I'm, I'm beat, so, uh, maybe it has something to do with it, but that's something you gotta learn how to, to pitch on, you know, pitch when you're tired, that's what's gonna happen. You said wins and losses don't matter to you, but do you take any, you know, special for you to lead the team in wins this year? Barney! Uh, like I said, it's nice. It is, I mean, it is nice to have that, you know, 13 there, but uh, um, I look at the season like Dickie had and, and all the quality starts he had and stuff like that, and that, that's what I want. I mean, so the wins and losses are obviously nice, but uh, so that's more that's more of just what happens, you know, byproduct of what the team does, I think.